The jet is flying at a speed of 790 miles per hour relative to the air with a heading of south 38 degrees west. The wind is blowing with a speed of 41 miles per hour in the direction north 11 degrees east. Our first goal is to express the velocity of the jet in component form. Well, we know that to write this we need the speed 790 times cosine of theta and 790 sine theta. So we must figure out our theta. We're going in a direction of south 38 degrees west. So that would be south and then 38 degrees west of south. But theta always starts from our positive x-axis and goes counterclockwise. So this would be 270 degrees minus 38 degrees. 270 degrees would be due south, and we are 38 degrees west of that. So our theta is 232 degrees. So the velocity of the jet in component form is the speed relative to air times cosine of 232 degrees and 790 sine 232 degrees, which gives me negative 486.37. And my vertical component, negative 622.53. We now need to express the velocity of the wind in component form. So we need our theta to represent the bearing north 11 degrees east. So north would be straight up and then 11 degrees east of there, so 11 degrees. So this is 90 degrees minus 11 degrees, which leaves me with 79 degrees. So the velocity of the wind in component form is 41 miles per hour, cosine 79 degrees. 41 miles per hour sine of 79 degrees, which gives me 7.82 for my horizontal component and 40.25 for my vertical component. Then I'm asked to express the true velocity of the jet in component form, and luckily I wrote down the velocity of the jet in component form. So I have it right here to refer to. All I need to do is add those two numbers together. So negative 486.37 plus 782 leaves me with negative 478.55. And negative 622.53 plus 40.25, negative 582.28. Now to find the true speed and direction of the jet. The true speed of the jet is merely the magnitude of the velocity vector that we figured out in the last part. So just the square root of the negative 478.55 squared plus negative 582.28 squared. So the true speed of my jet is about 753.70 miles per hour. Then we start to find the true direction of the jet by finding the inverse tangent 
of my vertical component, 582.28 negative, divided by my horizontal component, the negative 478.55. And the inverse tangent of that is 50.58 degrees. But we know that the direction has to be in the third quadrant, so it's going to be southwest. So we need to be, in order to have our tangent be the same as 50.58 degrees, it would be 50.58 degrees past 180. Which means 90 minus 50.58 degrees west of due south. So 39.42 degrees, our direction is south, 39.42 degrees west. And we're done.